All right, guys, I'm going to show you how we're going to do this week's writing task. It's a very short task and it's called making a list. I'm going to actually show you a couple of ways you can make a list. So here's the first list I'm going to make with you. I'm going to need to list the ingredients for my chocolate cheesecake. Now, usually people make lists like this when they're about to go shopping. So my ingredients, and I'm going to dot point them, are I will need plain chocolate biscuits. I'll also put in brackets 250 gram. So I know that's the packet size I need to find. I will need 500 grams of cream cheese. I will need cream. 300 mils. I will need 200 grams of dark chocolate. I will need 100 grams of almond milk. And I'll need 90 grams of butter. Okay, I've made my list and I'm just checking that I have everything I need. Yes, so I've got what I need to make the base for my chocolate cheesecake and I've got the other ingredients. Right, so if you have a look, I used dot points for making that list. There's other ways you can make a list. And this list, I've actually already gone ahead and written most of it for you. Things my parents say to me. So when I was growing up, these are the things my parents said to me. Number one, they'd be always telling me to wake up. Number two, they'd always be telling me to go to bed. As you can see, I was very confused as a child. Number three, they'd always say to me, have a piece of fruit if you're hungry. Number four, they'd always say, stop fighting, which was a bit hard seeing I had three brothers. Number five, depending on who I was asking the question, they would either say, ask your father or ask your mother. I wonder if you have that said to you. Number six, often they would say to me, because I said so. Number seven, sometimes when I got home, they would ask, where have you been? And finally, they would always say to me, I love you. As you can see, with this list, I've used numbers. So you've got a couple of ways I've demonstrated how you can make a list. I thought about it and as I went along, I could have kept going with both those lists if I wanted to add in extras. So that's what you're going to be focusing on with your writing task, writing a list in detail.